My name is Ethan Nuss, N-U-S-S, -S, with the Energy Action Coalition. And every day I wake up and work for a vision in this country of a 100% clean energy economy that will create jobs for my generation. When we, my generation facing the largest unemployment since the Great Depression, make this country a leader in clean energy technology that we can export across the world and, and create jobs here at home. I stood in line 14 hours to testify today, and a month ago I, I sacrificed my civil liberties to participate in a peaceful sit-in in front of the White House and was arrested for those actions. I did this because my future is at stake. The future of my generation rests with the decision of today's State Department. This pipeline will be cut across indigenous lands and through my home state of Kansas, and I can't stand it. This is not within the national interests of the United States. One, because of the threat of global climate change. The world's leading climate scientists have said that if we tap tar sands oil and burn it, it will be game over for the global climate. When the U.S. military itself talks about global climate change being the single greatest threat to our national security, even above that of terrorism, we simply can't allow this to happen and, and, and have this threat. Second, because of the health impacts. Last year alone in the current Keystone Pipeline, 14 leaks have already happened because of the health impacts of my friends living in indigenous communities, and as, Mar sorry, as Mara said, are getting sick and dying, I can't watch it happen any longer. And because we're being misinformed about the jobs, the Cornell Labor Institute did a recent study saying that, it's, that the jobs we are promised will only come to a, a figure of about 3,000 because the current estimates do not calculate for factors such as the increase in gas prices that we know we will see, the risk of oil spills, and the detrimental health effects on our local communities. And in fact, the only local jobs that we'll actually see from this pipeline will between, be between 500 and 700. Local communities will be bearing all of the environmental risk, all of the health risk, and getting none of the jobs. What we have here is a foreign company using foreign materials to pump foreign oil through America's heartland. When we can do better with a homegrown vision of American energy, good union paying jobs in our steel mills making wind turbines across the United States and creating those millions of jobs for my generation that we need. We can do it. We can make the United States a global leader. We can end our addiction to oil. It starts here. It starts today. And it starts with your decision by firmly coming out against and rejecting the Keystone XL pipeline.